largest universal volcano bay. It was really easy to get in today. Like there was no line to get in from parking. I think everybody's actually at the other two. Um, and getting in in general was super easy. They to, uh, we got we got there. We parked really close. Like right before we got on the bus, they took our temperature and we did one through security. And it was just a very smooth process. There's a chance it might not always be that way. That's why I keep telling people get here early. I think that's just the best thing. Just just get here early and you're you're gonna get in. So what they also did as well is they took a ton of ton of chairs out. So just to keep the social distancing, they literally just kept them six feet apart. To give everybody a really quick construction update, the Kongu Racers, I totally probably did not pronounce that name right. There was an issue where like you had to be under 150 pounds to ride it because when you got off the ride, the little runway thing wasn't very long, so I guess it's a, a safety hazard. It looks like now, which I thought was really interesting, is that it's all torn up over there. So I'm wondering if they're redoing the runway to make it longer and then they'll lift the, the restrictions on it. So I think that's really good they're doing that. That way more people can ride it because it's actually a fun slide. I also want to give everybody just what the have to have system is. So any attraction you want to ride, let's say there is a wait time. So what you would do basically is you would see how long it is. So you would tap it with your tapu tapu. And then after that, they would give you a time to come back, such as let's say they it was about a 80 minute wait for the slide here. And then we'll just come down from five minutes down until then. And then they would let you know, oh, you can go on the ride. So at the moment though, it's a ride it now. Everything's a ride it now. It's a very empty day today, which is kind of nice. So I'm hoping I won't be using it that much. That was awesome. So my tabu tabu just told, reminded me to go social distance, practice social distancing, distance, keep six feet or two meters between parties. That's so neat. So then it just reminded me to wear your face covering when not in the water or attractions. So interesting. I have to give props to Volcano Bay right now. They have been so organized with everything, with everything, with safety, with social distancing. Like just now we got, we ordered our lunch and they said we have to get in the line to be seated. And then they said, since we haven't ordered, they looked at our number, they're like, we're we'll bringing it to you. Everything's been social distance, we're to go, we're to seated. It's, they're really taking this very, I'm really impressed. Lunch, I got the Beyond Burger, because I don't eat meat, and it looks super good. They also put dairy-free cheese on it and lettuce, which I'm super stoked about. And then with this refill here, which I think works out really well as well. You can also add the refill option on the mobile order as well. It's like $9.99 a day. So when it worked out well, you just tell them I have it and they'll, they'll activate it for you, which is pretty simple. You cannot go out near the volcano, which is kind of sad because it's kind of disappointing. It's beautiful there.
was so empty here. Everything was right and down. There was no, I didn't have to use the tablet tablet at all today, which I thought worked out very well. I did a four slides. I did, oh no, oh yeah. I did the 22 thing and then the water coaster, which was named Krakatel. I just, I have to give Universal credit. They have done such a great job making sure everything is safe. They have hand sanitizer. There's the staff is really making sure that we do social distance. I felt they have done, they just have done such, such a wonderful job. And I give them kudos because they really are trying to trying to be smart. I wanted to also mention with like the face coverings, like you can only wear them. You, you can wear you need to wear them when you're not in the water or if you're not like in a lounge chair. So it's like you are going to the bathroom dash you're going at lunch you do have to wear them so keep that in mind when you're not doing like activities to wear it we're gonna end this video so if you haven't yet I would absolutely love if you could subscribe if you can hit the notification bell please go share this with your friends and family put a comment below what is your favorite part of this video are you into water parks so thank, thank you for thank you for so much for watching your vacation is out there